Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flip to Teacher professional learning video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Docs to build an interactive checklist. You can use this for uh, helping students monitor steps in a science experiment, for building a list of things students need to bring on an excursion. Uh, there's a whole range of things that, they, that you can use this for, but let's take a quick look. If I jump across to Google Docs, you can see here I've just got a simple dot list, dot point list. Just the stock standard bullet point. To turn this into a checklist, have the cursor in the checklist somewhere, and up here under the bulleted list options, there's a little uh, down arrow. If I choose that, I've got some different uh, types of bullet points. You want to choose the one that looks like a checkbox, of course. That will give you a checkbox next to the list. That's great. If This is great if you're going to print something out, so you're sending home something to parents, perhaps. But if you want it to be interactive in the classroom, here's what we need to do to check an item off. We need to, let's say we've done, we've packed the socks for argument's sake. Click on the checkbox next to socks. That selects all of the items. Left click again, that selects just that particular item. Right click and choose the check mark. Done. It's that simple. Really, really easy. Let's do that again just so you've got that. Left click on the item, uh, on the checkbox next to the item you want to mark off selects everything and you can see now it hasn't selected the check mark left click again on the item right click choose the check mark easy as super simple i hope that's been helpful for you don't forget for more helpful ftpl videos head to c21teaching.com.au thanks for watching